Bush and congressional leaders negotiating the biggest government bailout since the Great Depression. And this meeting is an attempt to move the process forward. But earlier in the afternoon, Democrats and Republican leaders of both houses emerged from closed-door meetings. We've reached a fundamental agreement on a set of principles. To say they'd already resolved key issues without McCain or Obama, including congressional oversight of the bailout plan, limits on compensation for executives at bailed out companies, and for taxpayers and ownership stake in those bailed out companies. Democrats have dropped a demand that bankruptcy judges be allowed to rewrite mortgages. We now expect we will indeed have a plan that can pass the House, pass the Senate, be signed by the President, and bring a sense of certainty to this crisis. But Republicans have trouble in the House, where many conservatives remain ideologically opposed to a government bailout and have not agreed to any plan. The plan, a $700 billion bailout, would be given to the very people who are responsible for this financial mess. Wall Street money grabbers.